Hello everyone, so this is lesson two of natural selection and the question really is how do evolutions occur in nature? So the main mechanism of evolution is called natural selection and that's what we're looking at today and this theory of natural selection was devised by um, a man called Charles Darwin, here we have him here um, and we're going to talk a little bit about how he came up with this theory and it's to do with his trip to a place called the Galapagos Islands which are off the coast of Ecuador and one of the animals he looked at were finches okay, and how the finches of the different islands um, were different. So in natural selection adaptations of living organisms are essential for survival and the success in a certain habitat. You may have heard the phrase survival of the fittest and we're sort of going to be defining what that really means uh, in this lesson. It's a phrase which is commonly misused or used incorrectly. So in any habitat where you have an animal living, there's going to be some sort of competition for resources uh, if there's not enough resources. So competition ensures the best adapted individuals will survive. So for example, larger seedlings uh, growing in a clump will be able to obtain key resources such as light, nutrients and water more easily than smaller seedlings. As a result of this competition, the stronger individual will survive. This is because the larger seedlings have an advantage. Um, this means that the weaker ones will unfortunately die off and their genetic traits Will not be passed on to the next generation. This competition for survival with results um, results in better equipped individuals uh, that can survive and this is the cornerstone of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Okay so Charles Darwin was born in the early 1800s and he was a naturalist who devoted much of his life to scientific research. Uh, as part of his research he spent um, five years um, as a ship's naturalist on the HMS Beagle as it travelled to South America. Um, Darwin was greatly influ influenced by the variety of life he observed, in particular in the Galapagos Islands. Um, Darwin and another scientist called Alfred Wallace independently came to the same conclusion as Darwin jointly presented their theories in a scientific paper uh, entitled On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection uh, to the Linnean, Linnean Society in London in 1859. Okay, so this theory has been around for some time. Okay, so if we just take this uh, example here of our finches. Now, you might notice here that um, these birds have different sizes and different shaped beaks. Okay, so if we take this first one here, it's quite a large beak. And if we just compare it to number four here, it's got quite a small beak. Now Darwin theorised that these birds somehow got from Ecuador to the Galapagos Islands. Now the birds would not have been able to fly uh, that far by themselves. So he put this down as some sort of natural phenomenon. So really, really strong winds that blew them off course. And they ended up in the Galap Galapagos Islands. Now if you see here, it's an island chain. So there is many different islands. And what he realised was on these different islands, there was different types of finches. Now he said they all had a common ancestor, and that would have been the finches which were found on Ecuador. Now the different size and different shapes of beaks would have been related to the type of food that they were able to uh, consume. So number one has a really, really strong, hard beak, and it probably had to survive on living on harder food materials. Number four here is quite a pointy, sharp and small beak. So it probably was eating smaller foods. Um, as a result, the beaks, which were more suited to the type of food that was available on each individual island, um, that beak became more prominent and more common. And this is an example of natural selection. So natural selection works as follows. Um, an individual species will show a wide range of variation. Okay, so if we take our finches, for example, they have many different types of beaks. 
This variation uh, is due to differences in their genes. So these birds will have different beaks genetically uh, inherited from their parents. The individuals with characteristic most suited to the environment are more likely to survive and therefore reproduce. So they will have some sort of competitive advantage. The genes that allowed the individuals to be successful are passed on to the next generation. And individuals that are poorly adapted to the environment are less likely to survive, less likely to reproduce. And this means that their genes are not passed on to the next generation. Giving enough time, a species will gradually evolve to have more individuals with this competitive advantage. Okay, so to conclude what his main conclusions were, um, there is variation in individual phenotypes. If there is any competition for resources, there will be a struggle for existence and the better adapted individuals with the more advantageous phenotypes will survive and this leads to the survival of the fittest. Uh, these individuals are more likely to pass on their genes to the next generation. So fittest doesn't mean necessarily the healthiest, it means they have the phenotypes which are best for that particular environment to win that particular competition. Okay, so a few questions here just to think about how natural selection occurs. So name some resources which an organism may compete for. Okay, so an example may be space. Try and come up with about three more different um, things which an organism will compete for. So one could be space, just enough space to live in. Uh, so who was Linnaeus and what was he famous for? So if you think back to what we looked at in first year, Carl Linnaeus, who was a Swedish scientist, um, was famous for his work in biology as well. So that's something you can quickly uh, search up on the internet and find out if you do not remember. And finally, what were uh, Darwin's main conclusions, okay? And you should be able to write this down in three points. Okay. You might take more than three points, but there should be at least three points there. So again, good luck uh, with this work. If you have any questions, please post them and we'll try and get back to you.